Good evening everyone. Today I will be showing you how to redeem the 400 credits for the Google Cloud Study Jams event. These are important as without these you won't be able to proceed with the labs. So let's get started. First of all you have to open the enrollment email on the account with which you have registered. As you scroll down a bit you will see a link in the instruction number 2. Now what you have to do is open this link in incognito. After the link is opened, it will ask for a code. For that code, you have to move back to that mail and you can see there is a code just below this link. You have to copy this and paste it here. Now you have to fill the captcha and click on submit. Okay. It looked like this. Now what you have to do is sign in and you have to sign in with the same mail on which you have result, uh, received that enrollment email, right? So now we have signed in successfully. When you click on the profile, you will see that there are 9 credits already in your account. Okay. After that, you can see there is a lab, a tour of Google Cloud hands-on lab. We have to proceed and complete this lab in order to receive the 400 credits. Okay. So let's start this. What you have to do is click on start lab. So here you can see we have received temporary credentials and you have to click on open Google Cloud Console. You have to right click on this and then click on uh, open in a new tab otherwise it won't open. And here it's asking for sign in and you have to sign in using the temporary credentials given here. In the email you have to give the username and in the password there is a password is also given. You have to click on I understand. I agree. Agree and continue. So you can see here is an interface like this. Now what you have to do is you have to scroll down a bit and you'll see that there are certain tasks given. You have to ignore these questions and just focus on the tasks. First is you have to access the cloud console which we have already accessed. <clears throat> yeah, so here. <clears throat> We have to go to the navigation menu, click on I am admin and then go to I am, right? So here is the navigation menu. We have clicked on I am and admin and there is an option I am. Yeah. So after coming here, let's see what it has written. Find the student at the quick labs username you signed it through the lab with. Click grant access. You can see grant access. In the add principles section, enter the identifier given here. You have to copy this and paste it in the new principles field, right? And next is from the select the rule in the assign rule section, search for viewer, then click viewer. Here is the se selector rule. Here is the viewer option. We will select this and next is click on save. You can see there is a pop up policy updated and this task is complete. Now you have what you have to do is click on check my progress. 
if it turns green then you're good to go let's move on to the next task which is enable api and services on the navigation menu click api and services then move to library this is navigation menu api and services and library in the api search bar type dialog flow and click on dialog flow api search for it now what it says you have to click enable right It has been enabled and then you have what you have to do is check my progress and it has turned green in the end what you have to do now is click on this yellow uh, button and click check my progress on all the tasks you can see here right and it should look like this 100 by 100 points now it is advised that you should wait for minimum six minutes uh, Five minutes have already passed and let's wait for another minute after that we will end the lab this was all you had to do in this lab these were the specific tasks that were given in this lab like this in the further labs when you will receive the points the credits uh, there is uh, the syllabus also attached in that enrollment email you have to open those in the incognito mode and complete those Okay, so six minutes have passed. Let's end the lab and end lab. You have to just rate it a five and then click on submit. So the lab has been ended successfully. Now you have to go back <coughs> and check your profile. Still nine credits. What you have to do is refresh it and then check again. So here you can see. 400 credits have been claimed successfully and now you can proceed with the other labs you can see there is a syllabus attached to this mail so these are all the skill badges that you have to complete and then arcade game right you have to open the skill badges in incognito mode and complete this as instructed in the as given in the instructions okay that's all guys let's end this hello everyone so in today's video i will be showing you how to redeem the google cloud arcade first of all you have to open the enrollment email and as you scroll down you can see the gen a arcade game and the link to it what you have to do is right click on this and open this in incognito. As you can see there are limited spots so I encourage you guys to join this as fast as possible. So what you have to do is sign in to join this game and sign in with the same account on which you received the enrollment email. The number is 94. Uh, let me just verify it. 
here. So now after signing in, what we have to do is click on join this game. And here it's asking for an access code and the access code is given in the mail. You have to copy this and paste it here. You can edit this as per your choice and click on submit. Now you have successfully joined this and you, what you have to do now is just complete these labs. So that's it.